Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I do outdoor adventures. Today, we're here at Patapsco Valley State Park. If you saw my last video, I was at McKeldon area of Patapsco Valley State Park. But today we are down here in Ellicott City, Maryland, about at Avalon area of Patapsco Valley State Park. We're gonna be doing some mountain biking today. We're gonna bike over to the Patapsco River. We got some rain last night and the river is flowing pretty high. So I wanna check it out and see if it's uh, kayakable with these levels so i really wanted to do some kayaking today i will admit but it's unpredictable so today we're going to go we don't even have the pack raft we're going to go check out the river see what it's like um but yeah we're going to do some mountain biking hey there my name is ben a normal teenager with an extreme sense of adventure subscribe to follow along every week as i use my sense of adventure as my compass to explore the great outdoors And I've been ridden at Avalon area since my tour of Liberty Reservoir back in 2021. So it's been a it's been a minute. We parked at Landing Road and we're gonna bike down to the Orange Grove area. Okay, there's a little stream crossing there, um, no big deal. But I've had some smart people tell me that it wouldn't be that, uh, it wouldn't be a smart idea to go pack rafting when it's high water and cold outside. So sticking to the mountain bike today. miles to Avalon so that would be like the orange grove area there's so many trails back here I'm not too familiar with them so I just have a general direction of where I'm going whatever trail looks good the fastest line so there's a lot of trails that are here that are on my map and i use Gaia gps for all my mapping and it doesn't have the trail names which is like super hard when all the signs just tell you a trail name here we go trail on the downhill that was awesome some of the best mountain biking like downhill technical stuff control the speed with the wet leaves waking up this morning i was just like i just want to be pack rafting some white water but i'm kind of overlooking this like super adrenaline rushing mountain biking that just like is barely even phasing me but up here on the ridge Show so technical. 
It's out right now, it's about 400 CFS, but it is rolling. Is it, you should probably drop over there on the far side. It's just really high. So this is looking a lot more dangerous than I thought. You see this log right here. It actually extends all the way across. So you'd most likely get pinned by it. This could be a very dangerous situation. And then it just rolls and there's a nice little eddy right here to take out before the more challenging stuff up there but it's a pretty big drop like right in that corner and you just got to commit to it and then a hard right I'm definitely gonna be back here one day i'm not sure it'll be this winter or this spring or summer but i do want to get back on this white water i rode it once about three years ago but it looking better than ever right now i'm gonna get ready to bike back but i really learned a lot today by scouting the white water i learned that it's too high right now for what I would like and then the one sweeper in the middle could be very very dangerous so as always don't go on white water by yourself and always scout out to know what you're doing and check the levels before you go stay safe out there a lot of fun mountain biking to come let's do it we're gonna loop back to the car by taking Vlad Dam Trail back to the car Woo! about almost nine miles in which is a lot more than I was expecting really enjoyed the mountain biking 
really good trails around here. It's a great single track. And yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more outdoor adventures in the coming weeks.